Okay, so to draw this graph, we're going to use our table of values, um, which is shown below. Um, so when x equals 2, what I want to type into my calculator is 2 squared minus 2 plus 10. And it's exactly the same as the equation at the top, but instead of x, it's going to be 2. Um, now I can do this in my head. 2 squared is 4, 4 take away 2 is 2, and 2 plus 10 is 12. Um, we're going to do this for the other one, so when x equals 1, we'll do 1 squared take away 1 plus 10. 1 squared is 1, so 1 take away 1 is 0, plus 10 is 10. Um, then when x, uh, when x is 0, which is going to be 0 squared take away 0 plus 10, which is obviously going to be 10. Now when x is negative 1, We've got to be careful. If you type this into your calculator, make sure you put any negatives in brackets, otherwise it will get that wrong. So minus 1 squared is 1. And if you don't put it into brackets, the calculator will assume that it's minus 1, because uh, it will square the 1 first and then put a minus before it. Minus minus makes a plus. So that's going to be 12. And when x is negative 2, it's going to be negative 2 squared minus negative 2 plus 10, which is 4 plus 2 plus 10. 4 plus 2 is uh, 6, plus 10 is 16. Okay, let's plot this onto our graph. So it's 16, uh, was it 12, 10, 10, and 12. Okay, so next we need to um, join these up. Now, um, there's a few rules for joining up a quadratic. Uh, it needs to be a U rather than a V. Um, if you've got two points at the bottom, which we do, you need to make a point to go beneath them uh, at the bottom of the curve, and it's got to be one line rather than feathering or couple of lines or you oh, oops I've made a mistake so I'll do it again okay so I'm gonna try my best here to join these up I'm not fantastic at this but should be all right now be careful here to go beneath those two points now up like that and that should be fine so it's this part here you've just got to make a point to go beneath those two points if you draw a line straight across you will lose a mark 